Everybody, it's Tyler here at Riverbots High School. Check in with your grand champions here, 839Z Caution Tape Zoom and 1165A Redemption. Incredible performance. They went through them here with Jobin and Brandon talk more about this huge win that they brought here today. Uh, Jobin, I got to ask you on this. Uh, you know, we, we talked to you earlier in the pits and parts thing. You guys have a phenomenal robot and machine. You're Lions captains for it, but you had a tough run going through playoffs here. So walk me through, uh, you know, picking your Alliance partner and, and a little bit more about the playoff run you had. Yeah, so basically during, like, obviously 1165A is part of, like, our organization and we've alliance with them in during, like, locals, so we know what they're capable of. We know that, like, uh, our robot is very capable of scoring on Mogos and uh, uh, wall stakes, and we know that d from watching 1165A's matches, they're really good for, at stealing uh, goals from the opponent's corner and, like, putting them in the negative side. So uh, a huge part is we wanted a defensive robot to, you know, help us uh, like defend our corner and like maybe still other team's corner while we go around and score. In your division finals here, you lost the first uh, finals match for that, won the next two come in. What was some of the strategy like, you know, especially after you losing the first one, how did you adjust to take the next two matches? Yeah, so for the first match, unfortunately, our chain broke as soon as auto started, so we couldn't really score during that match. So we played defense while 1165A uh, went around scoring. But for the second match, we noticed that uh, as soon as auto is done, our opponents would go rush for the third goal. And since we uh, lost autonomous all three uh, the, the first match, we know that we might lose autonomous the second match. So we wanted to grab the third goal as fast as possible, so we have to score and you know, kind of like secure the win. Brandon, what was it like working with Caution Tape Zoom again? Yeah, as mentioned, you guys were already one event prior. What was it like having that familiarity working with him once again? Well, yeah, of course, uh, the familiarity was a lot of things we took into consideration when we were planning our matches. And because we know both of us play like really like nice styles, we knew what we were capable of. And uh, because we also work in the same building, we also know what each robot's design is capable of. So I think that gave us a really nice competitive advantage. But where that kind of died down is when we were in finals against 6008, and they had two teams in the same organization as well. And for that, again, we did lose finals one, but we were able to come back from that. Uh, we lost finals one because we crossed the line, so we were able to switch the autonomous. But because we knew how each other worked, we were able to develop a plan. Because as we've, uh, our scouts have looked at the other organization's uh, play style, looked at their matches, and we were able to come up with a nice plan to counter that after the first match loss. Yeah, and looking at, you know, Finals 2 and Finals 3, your, your alliances and autonomous were just totally locked in after that. Uh, you had, I mean, near perfect autonomous for that. Uh, after you won that autonomous in each round, did that change by winning that or not winning it? Does that change your tele -off strategy at all? So winning autonomous and not winning autonomous doesn't really change our tally up strategy at all because we have a good strategy locked in for the game. But one thing we do take into consideration is that if we do lose the autonomous, wall stakes become much more priority for us. Because in the match, we found that although in the high level of play, teams like to go for wall stakes a lot, it's better for us uh, as a really defensive player to try to go for their positive corner and uh, go for like more goals and negative corner. And so that's the only part that our strategy changed after losing autonomous. In the final story I want to ask in here, your alliance had some key moments of going up uh, against the wall stakes here and playing some tough defense as the 6,008 teams are trying to score on wall stakes. How, how did that communication work between your alliance to make sure you were always playing that great defense every time? Yeah, so basically we, we, what we want to do, because we noticed that we were a bit faster at scoring than 1165A, we wanted to go around the field first, and so we were able to guarantee at least one full mogul or at least like five, four rings on mogul, and then Brandon would go around, you know, scoring, and if we, well, I defend our, our positive corner, if I see like 6008 uh, go try to attempt a wall, wall stake, we go push them around, but sometimes we noticed that during um, one of our quarterfinal matches that some, some of our opponents were baiting us and so they could go into our um, positive corner, so we, we were just being careful the entire time. Well, I think overall phenomenal performance by both teams here. Go in the Worlds as well too, we can't wait to see your teams uh, compete there. Congratulations and good luck through the rest of the season. Thanks a lot guys. Thank this video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.